YouTube. Today I decided to dive into uh, my Mountain of Lucky Scent samples and check out a few from the House of Montal. Uh, just to see if any of them are worth investigating anymore. Get my nose on them, see if they're a pass, see what's the deal. So I'm going to share with you my first impressions of these fragrances that I've spent a few hours with today. And the first one I'm looking at is Oud Musk. Notes in this fragrance include oud, saffron, ebony wood, amber, and musk. And what I get out of this fragrance, uh, it starts off with strong medicinal oud. But quickly, this fragrance develops into this sweet woody character uh, that I'm not real familiar with. And uh, I'm not real familiar with ebony wood, so I'm thinking that's what it is. And I gotta tell ya... It's another wood I'm fond of. Absolutely love it. It's just delicious. And along with that, I get a touch of saffron, uh, just a touch of amber, just a touch of an oriental factor here. And uh, I get musk with this fragrance as well, adding a freshness with this blend. Overall, uh, I really like this stuff. <laughs> so I will be looking into this one further, no doubt about that. Now, the next one that I'm taking a look at is Aromatic Lime. Notes in this fragrance include bitter orange, lime, saffron, myrrh, vetiver, sandalwood, and patchouli leaves. And as far as what I get out of this, at the top, I do get a very dominant citrus. I get the lime, I get the bitter orange for sure. It's very bitter at the top of this, but it's delicious and fresh. I uh, love it, but quickly, this fragrance, the bitterness changes over to a vetiver myrrh combo. And at the base of this fragrance, holding this blend up, is just a soft, gentle, creamy sandalwood. And uh, just a soft, sweet, earthy patchouli there as well. And just a smidge and just a touch of saffron. Do I like this one? Yes, I do. Montal, we are going Two for two today so far, man. Now, moving on to number three, I am looking at Black Musk. Notes in this fragrance include leather, pepper, nutmeg, patchouli, teakwood, sandalwood, ambergris, and musk. And as far as what I get out of this fragrance, uh, I get a very nice, very smooth leather fragrance. Uh, leather accompanied by nutmeg and pepper, some spices there. Uh, I get a creamy sandalwood along with this leather, just making it even smoother. Uh, I get ambergris there as well, and I get an overall freshness brought in from the musk. So, <laughs> am I gonna be looking into this one? Yeah, I'm a definite fan. Boy, we are three for three today. I don't think this has ever happened, but Montal uh, is blowing me away today. What do I think of the next one? <laughs> the next one I'm looking at is Greyland. Notes in this fragrance include cedarwood, sandalwood, vetiver, kayak, <laughs> ginger, black pepper, Arabian leather, musk, and Tibetan rock rose. As far as the rose is concerned, you really got to go searching for it to even find it. I consider this fragrance to be a woody fragrance. Along the lines of Comme des Garçons 2 Man, uh, Gucci Pour Homme 1, La Labo's Vetiver 46. Because what I get out of this is a combination cedarwood, sandalwood, vetiver fragrance. Uh, with some spice there, with some ginger, with some pepper, and just a very soft touch of smooth leather at the base, and a little bit of musk brought in to add some freshness to this blend. So, do I like this one as well? <laughs> well, those of you that know me know what I'm going to say. You're damn right I do. Man, Montal, I have just had a hell of a day sampling your fragrances. Uh, all four of them are definite uh, ones that I am going to be looking into in the future for sure, spending some more time with. Uh, loved all of these ones right off the bat. So we'll see what future testing will bring. Got some great ideas here for splits, I think. Uh, definitely going to be looking into that. But let's see what my lady all right, guys, thinks about to find these. out what the Ooh. beautiful Mrs. Mickers thinks of these four Montals. That's right. Yep. Now, what did you say? I smelled like some deer rubbing out some wood? No, the first one you were mentioning, you are like, yeah, we're going to do oud musk. And I'm like, God. Oh, I gotcha. The smell, not in the smell, it's just the way that it's interpreted by I the title. Were, I thought you were prejudging. Not, well, I was prejudging by the title. Yeah, you can't I just, do that. I know, but I mean, I'm just thinking that with the oud musk, it sounds like a deer was running up against a piece of burnt wood like this. 
That sounds, has, that sounds good to me. It sounds like a party. That's right. That's right. He had a scratch on his back. The kind of party I like. All right. All right. Let's the go. first one we're looking at is oud musk. It's got okay. notes of oud, saffron, ebony wood, uh, amber, and musk. So okay. right there. Yep. That's not bad. That's not bad? That's not bad. It's kind of got a nice, not sweet smell, but it's a nice, almost like a caramelizing smell to it. Nice and sweet. And yeah? Yeah. As this one develops, too, I've noticed uh, what this wood reminds me of is kind of what's found in Santal 33. Uh, so, yeah, I really like this one, and further investigation is required. But now, let's move on to aromatic lime. Let's see what you think of this one. Like, oh, it's got notes of bitter orange, lime, saffron, uh, myrrh, vetiver, sandalwood, and patchouli leaves. All right, this is going to be a party. That's a party. Actually, that's not too bad. I'd wear that one. Yeah, it's good stuff, right? Yeah, it's not that bad. you got that citrusy note in there that's kind of from yeah. the lime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. See? That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. two for two. That's good. Because I love all of these. Okay. Okay, here we go. All We're right. moving on to black musk. This okay. has got leather, uh, some spices, patchouli, sandalwood, musk. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay, right there. That's not too bad either. Not too bad either? Mm-mm. Yeah, you don't really smell that leather. I mean, it's something else in there that's just kind of... Yeah, the leather is really, really soft and smooth. Kind of like... I don't know. It's like a mixture. It's like a leather and sandalwood it had a baby, and it created this, 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 this man. No monster. It's a baby soft. A baby soft. This, this smooth, creamy, manly smell. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's not too harsh. Just kind of have that nice, creamy it's, smell. Yeah, like you said. Yeah, it's not like an abrasive biker type leather. No. It's like a leather that you could wear every day. Yeah. Love it. Good stuff. Yeah, like uh, Mark Wahlberg always wears that same leather jacket in every movie of his. I, I know this. Okay. Okay, moving on to number four. Not for Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at the fragrance called Grayland. But if he's watching, hi, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> okay. Okay. Grayland. We've got cedarwood, sandalwood, vetiver. Uh, ginger, we got some spices, we got leather, we got musk, and we got rose. Oh my god, I've got like a, every note possibly I know, made to man. I know, I know a lot of stuff. But it creates. I'm not a fan of that one. What? I think it's too much combination of stuff. <laughs> the smell, it's a, it's a nice woody fragrance. Mm, no, no, no. Mm. No, not so much? Not so much. Not like the other ones. Well, I got three out of three. All of these Montals, I will definitely be looking into. What do you get out of that Grayland? Ugh. Should get like real woody fragrance. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about it that just doesn't taste good. Like you're not supposed to taste I it. I know you're not supposed to taste it. Did you lick my it. arm? Well, no, I don't, don't want you? to. I don't. We'll save that for later. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think there's something in it that just doesn't trip my trigger very well. No, like like the other ones do. Like yeah. this one's just something about the top. Just kind of, mm. yeah. yeah. No? No. So the first three you like, though? Yeah. Cool. Good yeah. news. Yeah. Because I think I will be hosting future splits of these. Sweet. Good stuff. Montal. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm loving the house of Montal. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. That's it. Fun's over. Good. About time. <laughs> Can't have fun all the time, you know? What? Yes, some, we can. Some serious stuff needs to go on. No. Oh, yeah. And like no. a few hours is true blood time. Uh, some more True Blood. That's right. That's right. we got to stop this. Yes. <laughs> you guys take care. We'll see you soon. Bye.